Hey kids, it's PlayStation time! And we are going into World War One or World War Two. <laughs> Medal of Honor Underground. Hey dude. Yeah, you should have saw that coming, pal. Holy crap! Everyone's around the corner waiting for me. Run away! Run away! Run away! Run away. Totally had your little Nazi ass. Like that. Well, one of the first things I liked about this level when I first saw it was my love affair with this guy. Oh yeah. Yeah! Now we're talking power. This is one of the great levels of this game because, let's face it, there is a crap ton of explosive objects. And, let's face it kids, who doesn't like explosives? Okay, the victims. But other than those people. I mean really, you can't argue with them because they're dead. See? No one's arguing. I didn't kill him? Yeah, darn it. Oh, I know what that clank was. That's the sound of someone getting their helmet shot. Guess the old brain bucket didn't work as well as you were hoping for, huh, buddy? That's okay. Yeah, that was a little bit of weirdness, but, you know. Those graphical imperfections are kind of what makes the game fun. I love the aim function. It saves me a lot of trouble because I don't necessarily aim that well naturally without some kind of targeting. So, if only real life had a visual reticule. Alright, but um Hey buddy. Ooh. I almost kinda feel bad about that one. I mean dude's just walking along, he's having a nice day, nothing's going wrong. Hey, I'm just a Nazi, I got drafted. But, you know, sorry pal. There were people who fought against that, you know, they they were all like, no, we're not going to let people be you know, take over the world. those kind of decisions, you better expect those kind of repercussions. Oh, dude, come on, just die. This is kind of it's tragic, really. Hey kids, you know it'd be really fun. Huh. How many people are standing over there? Come on. Oh, I'm out. No more. Anyway. 
That's better. Yep. There's your Call of Duty, pal. I wonder if I'm just going to have to run up and throw a, a big old bomb on him. Because what I think happens on this particular spot, I tried it for a while, is that if you uh, keep hitting the same area over and over again, <coughs> Faust in there because I'm probably gonna need him. Yeah, I've only got one shot and it usually takes at least three. Oh, come on. Oh, no. There you go. Crap, that's a field surgeon pack. That means I got all the shells. That means. What are you doing here? Didn't I get rid of all you turds? Did that reactivate a bunch of you guys? By gum it did. face. Whoa! Hey, pal. There's just something fun about going psycho and shooting guns everywhere, isn't there? Not so much in real life or anything. That's actually not probably as much fun, but... I need to throw some petrol bombs around soon. Well, not for the time being. Hey, look! More rounds. Because when I... Ex explode a bucket, I expect to find handy, neatly tidy boxes and stuff right behind them. See right there, first aid kit. And that's how real life works, right? Whoa! I don't want to mess with you. Hey, Tanky Spanky. Okay, this is the hard part here. Oh, yeah, I know you're coming. Whoa! What the freak was that? You know what? I know where a sea field searching pack is. I gotta go get in on that action. Of course, it may just reactivate everyone along the way, but not there. See, no one's there. So we're gonna find out whether my little hypothesis is correct, whether going through this area and breaking that ground 
is going to reactivate it, but I don't really have much of a choice at this point because I got another tank to go. Oh crap. They use that? Oh, that could be bad. Maybe over here? Sometimes I leave extra crap up here. The nice thing about a maze runner is once you clear out an area, usually it stays pretty clear. I'm hoping in this case it does. Because you can go all the way back in this thing. Now the question is, will they repopulate baddies? See, there's all the way back. Now, I don't think they're going to repopulate here. I think where they repopulate is actually after I break that one barrier over here. Yeah, I am going to be stuck looking. <coughs> and not finding. So this is where I find out if it just repopulates based on where I've been. Guess not. Alright, well, at least that, could, that news is good. Hey, kids! Do you? You weren't using it. You joined the Nazi party. See? There's a joke. You don't like my jokes? What? Now the tank stopped. You can't joke around a little now? Awesome! Okay. No more talking. Hey, good thing you lined that up. Oh man, took his helmet off and didn't kill him? Yeah, that happens. Anyone else? Hey, there is. I'm like a psycho murderer with this thing. Now this is going to be my preferred weapon. And I actually do like it. You sit down, punk. that's the end of this. Ha ha! We beat it! And it only took a couple of rounds. So, I hope you enjoyed this chapter. The next installment should be pretty exciting. I'll give you a little bit of preview of that. In direct violation of the Treaty of Versailles, Germany spent the 1930s rebuilding their military into a massive fighting force that Hitler planned to use in his corpus to Europe. 
In response, the French government poured their resources into the Russian war line. A massive spell contained fortification that ran the entire length of their eastern border. Unfortunately, the Russian war line turned out to be one of the greatest miscalculations of modern military history. Germany's loot warfare simply flew over it. Yeah, and they drove through Belgium. That wasn't cool. But, you know, that's kind of the way warfare is in real life. <coughs> so, overall, rating, excellent. All objectives. Okay, I have to change my setting on this just a little bit, because I can't read it anymore. I had to turn it up really bright so I could actually see in the dark which is one of the few wonderful cheats you can do when you're using an OEM through a computer. Wow. 18% accuracy, 63 hits. I got the armpitter award because of those stupid guys going around the corner. I can't believe my Sten was my preferred weapon. I, th I was expecting it to be that big tank gun, but hey, that's cool. Anyway. I am going to save my round. Thanks for watching again, friends. This has been Dark Devil Daddy. And as always, goats out. <laughs>